Welcome to Monet Cafe. I'm artist Susan Jenkins, and you guys probably know I love sharing helpful tips. And today I'm sharing a way to help you when you're in situations where the lighting may not be just right. Often we have to be away from our studio or we want to take our studio to our kitchen table. So I'm going to be sharing a product with you that I absolutely love. And that's not all. You will also see the product in action as I sketch my own dog, Jackson, using this amazing light. So are you ready? Let's just go for it. By the way, I have fun shirts in my merchandise shop underneath every video. If you would, go ahead and like this video. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you hit the little bell next to the subscribe button, you'll be notified of any future videos I post. And just a quick shout out to my patrons from my Patreon page. I am so grateful for your support of $5 a month. It helps keep these free videos coming and my patrons get some extra content. I was so grateful to the company Perfect Art Lights for providing me this product to review. I find myself often in situations where the lighting isn't great. I happened to be at my dad's property. I was there for the one year anniversary of my mama's passing away. And he has this beautiful back porch. It's a beautiful log home. But the lighting isn't great or it's definitely not consistent. It has some LED lights on the porch and I have um, some light behind me in my little setup you saw before where the light changes. You know, if you paint on location, you are aware that your light is ever changing. Oh, there's their dog, Dasha. She's so sweet. And my situation here was okay, but the lighting wasn't great and definitely inconsistent. So that's where this awesome, amazing product comes in. It's the Smart Easel Light. Now, I don't care if you're a plein air painter or not, painting on location out at different, you know, beautiful places. Even at your kitchen table, or if you just go on a vacation, this light is going to really change your world. I usually have some fairly typical items that I pack with me when going anywhere, anywhere really, I was going to say on location to paint, but no, if I, my husband says, let's go on a day trip, I pack up my art bag. You just never know what time you might get to paint. So it's a good idea to have maybe a punch list of some of your most crucial items when painting on the go. I should probably make another video on how to pack an art travel bag. All right, so you get the idea. I'm set up to do a little charcoal sketching on this particular morning, and I am so ready to explore this easel light. This is literally the first time I was unpacking it. So it is very convenient, lightweight, easy for travel and the bag is awesome. It has lots of little cubbies and it's very efficiently packed. I was also very impressed with the instructions. It does have a three-year limited warranty. It comes with all the information you need to get set up. And one thing that I really loved that it had was a startup guide and a very handy guide for adjusting light temperature. And this is just the unpacking of this product. I'm gonna be talking about all of these features when you actually see me using the light. A feature that I love is the fact that you can literally go on location and not even need an outlet. It has an awesome battery, so you can literally paint hours without having to plug in. I can't tell you how many times I run across a situation where I don't have an outlet to plug in a light. The actual easel light is so lightweight and adjustable. That's the feature that I love so much about this. It does have a clamp on the bottom, so you don't have to clamp it just on your easel. I clamped it to a chair and moved it where I needed. Now it has the adjustable bendable arm, but the head of it is also adjustable. You can turn this thing in every which way. It of course comes with a power adapter to plug into your battery in order to charge it, obviously for the first time. And what I really love is the versatility of this light, which can be achieved by using the amazing remote. They even sent a Velcro strap. If you want to Velcro it somewhere on your easel or somewhere, you know, so that it doesn't fall off easily. And can you believe it? They even sent the batteries for the remote. I mean, this company's awesome. Now, because the instructions are just so well done, you can follow easily how to set it up. I'm just going to go ahead and give you a little demonstration real quickly on how dramatically it can change your painting experience. 
And here I've turned it forward so that you can see the combination of the warm and the cool lights. And that is an amazing feature of this, to be able to change your color temperature by varying incremental degrees. Here is how this pastel sketch looked in just the regular lighting on the porch. And now I'm going to turn on the easel light and give you an idea of how dramatically it can change the color and the brightness. And again, not to belabor the point, but you have so much control over your lighting. I love the fact that I can change the temperature of the lighting, whether I need to warm things up a bit or perhaps cool them off a bit. And I also love the fact that it has these memory settings on the remote. If you want to remember certain lighting, if you're in a certain location and you know this is the way you want it, you have two settings for that. There's also a timer, a three hour, six hour, and a 24 hour timer. And here are a couple of other examples of paintings I had in my sketchbook already. Sorry, I didn't turn this one right side up, but here's before. And I think you will be able to dramatically see the difference. Now, once again, you have brightness controls as well, not just temperature, but brightness. And here's another. This is a sketch I did with Prismacolor New Pastels on black paper. And again, just look at the difference when you use this easel light. And I found more uses for this light. What do those commercials say? Yes, there's more. We do need to see our pastels, right? Or whatever medium you're using. And often the lighting isn't great to be able to choose the right color. So because this light is so flexible, I can literally just turn it to get a quick peek at my colors and make sure I'm choosing the right ones. Here's before and here is after. Wow, what a difference, right? This totally will change your painting experience when you can actually see the colors you're using. And again, there is more. I thought, wow, this light might even work as a selfie light. You know, if you're an old lady and you got to be on camera like me, sometimes you need to look better. So, now, you might want to close your eyes if you do this, because if you hit the max setting, it's pretty darn bright. So adjust your light a little bit. And before you know it, you can even have some of those wrinkles disappear. And if you're feeling like you want to just cool off a bit, you can cool the temperature or you can give yourself a wonderful Caribbean tan. Now let's head on over to their website. Yes, I know I'm a goofball. If you go to perfectartlights.com, you'll find they have not only the easel light, they also have lighting for your studio, some screw in light bulbs. But let's talk about this easel light first. When you go to this, it's, now don't be shocked at the price. This is so well worth it. And at the showing of this video, it's $319. Now, People who are watching this video, if you want to get this, there's a coupon code in the description of my video here where you'll get 10% off. But I'm telling you, this is so well worth it. And there are so many outstanding artists who have recommended this light. I'm going to go through a little bit of that in just a minute. So their website has really so much information for you if you have any other questions rather than just my video review. And it is so user-friendly. I will say that the remote, you want to make sure that you pair the remote. The remote has to be paired to the actual light. So if you find that the light's not working, you kind of have to reset the remote. That's one only little thing that I found. But they even have instructions about that. There's a video where you can actually see it in action rather than just my little product review here. There's also a section that talks about temperature of LED lights. You know, when they first came out with LED lights, they were all way on that upper range. The higher the number, the cooler. And now they have wonderful warm lights for LEDs. Now, here's some some of the plein air painters and other painters who use this light artist Lori McNee she's fantastic and they have a video on her Cindy Barron and also I love this product review this light is one of the most important tools in my studio not only does it provide the exact light I need for painting it can do so at any time I get up at 4 a.m. but light I paint in is 10 a.m. to noon so it changed the way I paint by allowing me to paint anytime I want as I mentioned before, not only do they have the easel light, they have lighting for your studio. These perfect art lights are amazing. I got a couple of these as well, and I love them. So if you'd like to check out more on those, 
go to the left side that says for studio based artist and I'll click here and show you it's 129 a light but it is so worth it I like to use mine on a stand you can kind of see how the artist has this one where you can control where you put the light you can move it around I have two of them and they are again just like the easel light very easy and it has the remote you have perfect control of temperature of brightness all the same settings and I absolutely love my ability now to control the lighting not only in my studio but with the easel light on location as well so if I've piqued your interest check out the website I'll have a link in this description and the coupon click the link to get the 10% off if you'd like as promised here is my little sketch now I'm using the easel light right here you can see the shadow I apologize for the shadow I had the light to my left side I should have shown what it looked like before I turned the light on I mean it was just dark and I didn't have really the the right lighting to be able to see the fine details I need especially for doing something like a pen pet portrait. People and pets, you really need good lighting and ability to get your features right. The anatomy right, I talk about a lot. Now, by the way, if you're a patron of mine, you're going to get a full tutorial on this. I'm going to talk a lot to my patrons in my video that will be on my Patreon page. Again, it's only $5 a month. You, you get extra content, but the beauty for me is that you are allowing by supporting Monet Cafe for me to keep free videos like this one and many other hundreds on this channel coming to people all over the world. I get the most beautiful thank yous from people who are so appreciative who don't have the not only the financial means but just the means period of finding art lessons or going somewhere for art instruction so god bless you if you are a patron of mine and uh, you're helping so many other people as well now this i will give a little instruction this is just a piece of willow charcoal that i'm using here it's uh willow or vine charcoal i have a lot of the products so many of the products that I use in my Amazon shop I have a link to my Amazon shop in the description of every video and I have these little idealists I have things divided up into categories you can find studio tools you can find painting products and I often have my even this vine charcoal I think is under painting products and um, and the charcoal pencils you'll see me using later and I in the paper it's a gray tones paper by Strathmore I have that in the paper section of my Amazon shop now a lot of times I will use this willow charcoal to begin with because it's very easy to brush off you can make corrections very easily now I'm, I'm switching a little bit to some charcoal this is a white charcoal pencil because this paper is gray you actually can use white now if you were using a white surface you couldn't do that it wouldn't show up so that's why I love using like a neutral gray surface like this for sketching and as I said this is my doggy Jackson he is my best friend I always say that but it's absolutely true he's with me all day long in my studio he has the sweetest heart does anybody else have Boston's I've, I heard Boston's can be a little bit stubborn um, so I just trained mine when he was young like I trained my boys I have three three men I should say not boys I just let him know who was boss and man he is such an amazing dog he's a real pleaser he's got a really sweet spirit I could go on and on about him but I had never done a sketch of him can you believe that that's crazy he's almost 10 years old and I think I'm talking fast because I fast forwarded this video <laughs> people say that sometimes and I think it's when I speed things up I do talk faster um, but again in my patreon group I'm going to give you some tips on how to accurately sketch how to get your subject matter on your paper correctly to begin with uh, one thing you don't want to do is start a portrait and realize later that you have not measured out correctly and his feet are going to end up off the page so little tips like that so anyway this was mostly about the product review on the amazing easel light and the other studio lights that you can get but I really wanted you guys to see a little bit get a little bit of instruction and a little bit of sketching fun as well so here's a little music for the remainder of this charcoal sketch and don't go anywhere I'll be back at the end
hope you enjoyed the sketching demo of my precious little Jackson. And if you're in the Monet Cafe Art Group on Facebook, again, it's Furry Friends Month. Lots of you guys are sharing paintings and sketches of your furry friends. So join the fun in our Facebook group if you would like. It's Monet Cafe Art Group on Facebook. All right, artists, God bless and happy painting.